Arundo. Zais Kunga me invito. <laughs> it's amazing, right? If somebody was to do something something to this ice cream, right? And that person was watching me eat this ice cream, right? To me, this should taste good, right? I'm eating it, no care in the world. That person probably be like, eh? <laughs> that person and the people that know about it are probably saying, ew. That is nasty. In their mind, they live in the worst. They just like this. Yeah, they're like, oh God. Somebody help that boy. But in my mind, I'm like, I'm perfectly fine. So who's really hurting? You see? It worries about perspective, man. Nah, listen. I'm not even sure if you can see her. Uh, uh, I know the nigga. That was some bone religion. Nah, some, some bone religion. Anyway, the word. The word about perspective. Because you got people. Yeah, I may have done something to my ice cream. May have. I don't know. I can't. I can't worry myself. I can't. But in their mind, they going crazy right now. They're like, "Oh my god!" And to me, I'm like, "Whew! Shit, cold, but it tastes too good. I gotta keep going." You feel me? But let me tell you something. In the Bible said Jesus in the Bible Jesus said if somebody invites you to their house and offer you some food, you should eat it. Right? He said, do not worry. Do not worry about what is in the food or anything else. Just eat it. He didn't say nothing bad was gonna happen to you. He didn't say you was gonna gain the kingdom of heaven. He said, just eat it, right? All right. I bought it for my business. The business is welcoming people to come to its establishment to buy. So whatever you purchase, you should eat it. That's one. And everything else is about perspective. You see, it hurts the people more than it hurts me. Because in their mind, they're like, oh, oh my God, that's disgusting. And they're going through these emotions of it all. And me, I have no clue about it. Even even if I was to have a, a clue about even if I was to think, who would think of the thing that they eat and it's nasty? Then I'll throw it away. Even if it comes to mind, I still wouldn't even let it. Even if it comes to mind, I still wouldn't let it bother me. So it hurts the people more that know about it than the person who doesn't know about it. I'm still be told. Ten minutes later, we're about to get into the conversation. Because we got one. We got one. Hold on. Get this shit done right. You know, cause you got these niggas hard enough. They want to get me for real, for real. Let me so, Cause truth be told, who's to know what the government is pulling our food? I mean, think about it. We just recently found out that 
some of the chickens that they we used to get fed on were using steroids to make them bigger so it can feed the demand. They had to amp up the supply. So they was injecting chickens and cow with steroids so they can get bigger faster and grow faster. Made a little, have kids at a very young age. They was violating these animals. We just found those out a few years back. We also found we also found that most of the foods that we was eating, some of it was GMO, gen genetically modified food. You feel me? So here we here I am here we are actually not knowing what we are consuming, but we happily consuming all these years. Our grandparents consume it, our parents consume it, and we have consumed it without even knowing. Until we found out about the truth. But all that time, it's like, did you disregard all that time when you actually enjoy yourself eating it? You probably said, oh, oh, my mother cooked this vegetables and this and these these GMO vegetables and this GMO potatoes and everything else like that. But you ate it. You feel me? You you ate you ate it, nigga. You feel me? And you wash the dishes and cook another one several nights over and over and over. But we didn't know those were GM. We didn't know there was an organic. You feel me? Now when you go to the supermarket, they got the organic section. Then you have the other side, which is whatever it is. You feel me? But yet, we've been so used to eating GMO that some of us don't even care. We just, just grab it and just keep going. And some people who are very health conscious actually look for the labels on the fruits and the vegetables. And if it's a non-GMO, and then they pick it up. Because that's what they want in their system. But then again, who we don't even know what we eating. We really don't. We really don't know. We just put our trust in them. We just put our trust in the government. We just put our trust in these people that, well, whatever they're selling, it has to be true. Because who would want to sell you anything else than what it's supposed to be? You feel me? And this is the thing that I got to deal with. Who would want to sell me? Anything else than what it is. Then I remember what Christ said. Man, if somebody invites you to his establishment, just eat it. He said, don't worry about it. Do not, do not worry yourself about these things. You feel me? He said, do not worry yourself about it. Don't question it. Because to question it, the, the thought of it will kill you. That's what he said. He said the thought of it will hurt you more than the actual food itself. And these establishments are based on trust. So they're inviting you to come and buy from them. So why would you go to a place with a negative thought? You make it much more worse. Because your perspective is like the sun that I'm in right now. Is that it going to give you life or take life away from you? So whatever you think is what it becomes. Whatever you say, as a man think it, so is he. So don't think think yourself into being a fool. You feel me? Because most of the time, the things that people see that they do to me, somebody's actually doing it to them. Honestly, who's? You feel me? Think about it. Somebody is doing it to them, and we don't even know. It's good, baby. You look good. I said no. You feel me? Somebody's doing it. We don't know what we were eating and everything else like that. I know there's, there's a lot of examples that I can I can tap into, but my my Wikipedia right now is uh, is, is buffering. I can't have my memories crowded right now. I can't even do. It. I can't even remember. Let's look at Flinch, Michigan. The tap water that they was drinking all these years. That we finally found out there was lead poison and everything else like that. There's a lot of other examples that have not been discovered yet. There's a lot of examples I could just pull up. But right now, like I said, my Wikipedia is buffering. You feel me? These, 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 we don't know. You feel me? But yet, we don't worry ourselves with it. We just keep on moving forward. Because if you was to worry yourself, you enhance whatever you input. Then it becomes detrimental. You could be eating the cleanest thing, but if somebody tells you it was dirty, guess what? Your perception is so strong that it could become dirty in you. Or you, kill, or you hurt yourself. 
with your own perception. That's why people who think so hard sometimes. Have you ever wondered that how can a person, if, how can a person be happy in a relationship one minute, but when when that person finds out that a significant other was cheating, that the percept the perspective or that or that message was so strong in that person that sometimes it drives it drives some some people crazy. You feel me? That it drives certain people crazy. It, it makes people go crazy. People go crazy over a woman. <laughs> How can you do this to me? What the fuck? You start going crazy. Crazy. I'm talking about cock a doodle. Crazy. You feel me? The perspective be so crazy. And that person can be. He, he, that person could have had the moon back and forth. He probably had every healthy food in his body. But yet his perspective was what did him away. Because mental f- fragile. Some people are just mentally fragile. They can work their body. Some people can eat healthy. Some people can be... Some people can be... What's that guy's name? Um, oh, what's his name? Um, the Kardashian father. Who ran for... The Olympics and everything else like that. We come to find out that he said he 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 was a woman all these times, and he was hiding it. You see, that's mental fragileness. You feel me? I'm not saying his decision to be a woman is the fact that he he claimed. Come on, man, that shit is crazy. Like my nigga, you was one of the most athletic men at once upon a time, and all of a sudden you want to claim that you are you be cross dressing. He said he cross dressed. He said he's still interested in women, but he just liked to dress as a woman at times. <laughs> I don't know, man. He, he want to compete with his woman. You feel me? There's nothing wrong with what he said. You feel me? It's just the fact that he's mentally mentally fragile for what for 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 not being able to stand on his own two feet. Like, come on, say what you gotta say, and that's it. You feel me? Don't waste another person's time and hide this all these years. You feel me? It's crazy. You could have just told her from the start. She probably still would have uh, accepted you for who you are. Because he didn't say, I like men. He said, I still like women. I just like to wear girls' clothes. Some weird shit, but it's like, you know, we just don't understand it because we haven't seen enough of it. So to me, it's weird, but it could be perfectly fine. Like, I don't know. Maybe in the future, everybody will be doing it. Then it could be perfect. It could be norm now. This is me not trying to judge him. You feel me? Somebody opened my shit. Anyway, you feel me? It's just the truth. Anyway, look, man. Things are crazy out there, man. We don't know most of the things that we go through. Your perspective is what gives it power. You give power to things that you're not supposed to give power to because the way you think of it, you put too much emphasis on these things. You feel me? Allow yourself to be free. Stop worrying too much. You feel me? Stop vicariously living through other people. You feel me? This all started because of the food thing. Now people were just looking at me. I'm like, yo, it's not that I don't care about myself. If I was to care about what you think about what I'm doing right now, I would hurt myself in doing so. So I have to love myself enough. I have to love myself enough to... um to just freely eat my ice cream without anybody feel me. Because at the end of the day, I got weirdos. There's one right there waiting on the bus with me. He got up the other bus. He began up. Every time I get up, he get up. If I go this route, he go that route. Then when I look back at him, he act like he's not looking at me. Feel me? Shit like this. These are the things I got to deal with. Feel me? I can't trick my perspective that that shit ain't happening. It's really happening, so I just gotta acknowledge it. Feel me? But if if it's nothing there, don't give it power. Look at this. No, oh, let's see. See him walking back and forth. He don't know what he's doing, my nigga. I swear he don't. Well, he knows what he's doing. He's just pretending that he doesn't know. You feel me? I don't trust him. 
So I'm gonna keep my eyes sober ten toes down. Keep looking at him. He's still doing some bullshit. That nigga get crazy. Feel me? This is shit I gotta worry about and wonder about. That is real. Feel me? But I'm not gonna give it my energy neither. If anything, if you don't, if I don't like what he's doing, all I gotta do is just get up again and just move to another side. Your perspective matters. I just want to show you an example of somebody who's just acting weird, just walking back and forth. He's the only person who's out here just doing so. He's waiting on the bus just like I am, but at the same time, he just every time. He moves a little closer, then he moves back to the bus stop. As if he's trying to do something while I'm not paying attention, which is the case at all times. You feel me? Look at that. Look at me again. Although I'm looking at him too, of course, because I gotta look at him. If you're acting weird, nigga, go sit down. You're a grown ass man. You got gray hair and all. Come on, go sit down, nigga. Again, moving back and forth again. That's somebody's grandfather. <laughs> and that's not a fucking lie but your perspective is everything you feel me if there was nothing there and I was giving it power like that then I'd be like ah you giving it something that you, you gonna make it happen but the truth of the matter that's not the case with me you feel me what I'm trying to say is that don't give things your power if the power lies within you whatever you focus on the most is what happens you feel me I'm here talking on my video, expressing myself through the video itself. You feel me? And that's what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention to him. I'm not going to say, yo, what the fuck you looking at? If I give him my power and I give him my attention, then I'm going to cause a friction and frustration. And he's going to reply back. Then I'm going to reply back. And I'm like, nah, I see you walking around. Then he's going to be like, well, I can walk around. This is a free country. Then he's right. Then I'll be like, what the fuck you mean, nigga? Because I didn't accept that answer because the way he said it, then it goes back and forth, back and forth. The next thing you know, it could be a throw down. Just two people just looking stupid from far, just arguing with each other. You feel me? Your perspective matters the most. You feel me? People will use your own perspective against you. That's what they try to do to me at the job and everything else like that. It's crazy, man. That's the same thing they did to me. Use my perspective against me. Because the person was the aggressive one, but yet, and my pre the way I reacted was not wrong. Because when people been attacking you and doing all these kind of things to you, oh Lord, no cab, cab is gonna cost you. Because mm -mm. when people attack you and do all these kind of things to you, and somebody come at you aggressively at, at a job place that don't look out for their associate, they don't look out for me. So what else do I expect? You feel me? I'm like, these niggas never looked out for me. Even when I made a complaint, they didn't look out for me. When I told them, yo, look, can I get a transfer? They didn't look out for me. They said, just forget about it. Just forget about it. Then when, when they was doing the so-called investigation, they didn't even want me to bring up that situation. And I'm like, I can't bring up that situation. It's like, well, I wasn't here for that. So I'm like, what? How you putting so much emphasis or, or something, that, a physical altercation that didn't happen? But when I'm telling you, I'm getting attacked. I told him that, and I called, and I told him, like, yo, I'm getting attacked, and I'm getting kicked, and everything else like that. That was not important enough. But two people yelling back and forth at each other, they, they deemed that as more as it being more serious than what I was complaining about. Come on, man. Every time I talk about that shit, it's frustrating. I'm like, yo, that shit was so bullshit. Like, I'm literally physically getting attacked. I complain, they didn't do nothing about it. But yeah, me and somebody just yelling at each other. Or having a, a verbal con a verbal conversation. That's what it was. It was a verbal conversation. No matter how loud it was, I can't tell you how the volume goes. What am I supposed to turn the volume down? Who's to say whose volume is what? You feel me? Good for you. Good for you. I just had to give him the attention that he wanted. Anyway, look, he still can't do nothing with it. Um. But we all know they hated on me. They wanted this moment so bad. Some people be wanting the world. But if you hand them over the world, they don't know what to do with it. Now they want to act shy. They be like, hey, 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 It's like a hoe that be asking for the dick. You be like, I, I. So one day you feel weak enough to give her some dick. 
And now she don't know what to do with it. Stop, stop, stop. That hurts. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bitch. You should have been preparing yourself for this. Now, you've been wanting this moment all this time. They did every dirt back then in the book. Break all kind of ethic codes. The job ethic codes, human ethic codes, human dignity. They broke, all, they broke it all. Now they have the chance. They don't know what to do with it. Like, come on, man. What kind of lame-ass niggas is this? Who raised these niggas? You feel me? But that my perspective was what they tried to use against me. You feel me? I know I went on a tantrum right now. I had to. Because every time I think about it, it just frustrates me that I was done so wrong. It's like my shit didn't even matter. Like, you feel me? I know I said it doesn't matter, but I didn't know that they took it that hard to hard. Like, they really... Shit, man, when people are neglect, man, it really hurts people. Stop neglecting people. I'm not, I'm talking about individuals. I'm talking about countries. I'm talking about islands. I'm talking about anywhere people are from. Places were neglected in human history. Individuals were neglected in their own history. And that really hurt people. So if you disregard people in that matter, it really hurts them. You feel me? And people always need a companion. They need, uh, they need validation. They need comforting. You feel me? They might, they look perfectly fine, but deep down inside, they hurt. It's part of their story. It hurts them. Every time they hear it, it hurts them. So you just got to be careful how you talk to people. So, Because hurt people hurt people. So, of course, they're going to come to me and want to hurt me and take away and try to do me wrong as if I deserve that kind of treatment. Everybody know that I'm, like, everybody know it. Even they know they trying to they try so hard every day to convince themselves that they're right. And I'm like, stop lying to yourself. Like, god damn, I know niggas neglected you, but you ain't gotta lie to yourself too. Like it's pitiful, man. Nigga lying, he she just lying, lie. They lie on me, then they lie to themselves. They try to they try to they try to live with the guilt. So they try to lie to themselves to feel better about what they did. Well, you know you can't, you can't. You can't be whistling at people and talking to people like that. You know you can't do that, right? But they disregard the fact that in that same day, I was getting punched in my face, kicked, and I was still working hard. But you disregard all of that, and you still go back to, well, it seems like you was the aggressive one. You you know you was the aggressive one, right? I'm like, nigga, what are you talking about? Huh? It's like putting the covers on you because it's cold in your room and you start blaming the covers. Well, why did you put it on the covers? Because it's cold in the room? Hello? You feel me? Like, this shit is crazy, my nigga. They crazy, my nigga. I'm telling you. Narcissists. They make excuses. They never take ownership for... They never take accountability. They arrogance because they think you stupid. So they feel like this guy is dumb. We can treat him any how he want. He's okay. He likes it. He can... You can do it to them. Don't worry about it. Because they, they're arrogant with their behavior and everything else like that. They feel entitled to certain positions. So they feel like, well, I can have it. You can't have it. Well, I can do it. You can't do it. Well, I can point you in your face. But you know you can't yell and be aggressive towards me. These are the entitlement and ownership. They've passed all categories when, when you speak about these things. These niggas is narcissists. And they try to label me as a narcissist. And I'm like, huh? If anything, I'm too empathetic. Like, that's why y'all niggas is so attracted to me. You feel me? That's why narcissists will try to... They'll try to diminish you to the point of no return that nobody will want you. So they can have you for themselves. So they can use you as validation. And you see that shit going on right now. If you can't see it, then you refuse to see it. One of the things that narcissists do is try to handicap somebody and put them in a position where... They isolate it when nobody wants to speak to that person. They degrade them. They they deplete them. They want them to be financially drained so they can be the only one that they that, that they call these people supply or a victim of a narcissist. So that victim of a narcissist, the narcissist will try to drain you and deplete you so you can be only relying upon him or her or they or group. So you can be only alive, so you can be the supply, so they can use you however they want to use you for whatever purpose that they have in mind of you. This is what they do, my nigga. And you take a look at my life and you can see exactly what has been going on. That's what is going on. Because they're trying to just drain you of every fucking resource. 
every resource. Hold on, let me check. Good. They try to drain me of every resource. They're trying to be, they want me to be rely upon them. You feel me? They don't want me to have no friends or anything else. If I can be, I can be taught, even at that place when I was working my old job, when I was working at that place, people were getting attacked just for looking my way. Like the jealousy, I thought it was jealousy. Come to find out this is sickness. It was just mental illness. There was narcissists. It was narcissistical behavior. And they had flying monkeys. Flying monkeys are just people that they use to do their bidding. You feel me? Flying monkeys can, so, can also be narcissists. You feel me? But they use these people to do their bidding. And usually most of these people too are victims themselves. Those, those people sometimes are scared that they could be in a position where I'm at. So they comply. Excuse me. So they comply with the narcissist. Because they scared, oh, if I don't do this, uh, I'm going to end up like Jeff. And I don't want to end up like Jeff, so they comply. Or oh, it could be the person that's a narcissist too. So he's also playing his part as a narcissist so he can get his supply. When we say supply, it could be anything like um, empowerment. It could be validation. It could be wanting to be recognized in the community. It could be wanting to be noticed. You feel me? So... These people would join forces just to come at me, and which was which which was they was doing. You feel me? You feel me? And they was using people as flying monkeys. You feel me? Against me, and it's the truth. You feel me? But yet they disregard all that because it's much easier to get rid of me than to fix the problem itself. You feel me? And that's what went on. But yet when you talk about it, they be like, I can't be sure about it. They beat me so much over my head. I don't know how to be quiet. I really don't know how to be. I try to be quiet. I be like this. Mm, mm, motherfucker, nigga. I can't keep my motherfuck you, nigga. <laughs> I can't, nigga. I try. I really try. I be like, mm, mm, I be trying. I be talking in my head about it. And they still be hearing my shit because I cannot keep quiet anymore. I've been quiet for too long. So my mouth, my mind will not allow it to go on. It's like, motherfucker, you bitch ass nigga, shut the fuck up. Feel me? Like, that's just sometimes, that's how I just be feeling sometimes. But I'm so nice of an individual that when I react in a bad way, it hurts me. Because I'm like, damn, man, I should have never acted like that. So I only resort to just telling my truth, and that's it. I'm not going to curse you out. I might curse people out in private, but to do it in front of them, I'm like, nah, that's... I don't like I don't like to hurt people. You feel me? Because although I'm hurt, I don't like the feeling that felt on me. So I don't want to have to do it to somebody else. You feel me? And that and that's just the truth. You feel me? Like I know people be like, oh, that's corny, bro. That's corny to you. To me, that shit is real as fuck. You feel me? I don't want to hurt somebody else because I know what it feels like to be hurt. But truth be told, when you look at human history, whenever somebody's hurt, they turn they they don't turn the other cheek. That's why they try. They, that's what they try to teach people. People usually retaliate. Revenge, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So even God tried to teach humans not to retaliate. He said, vengeance is mine. Revenge is mine. But so if you if you retaliate, you're going against what God said. Even God tried to teach people not to be vengeance. But, you know, it is what it is, man. This is, this is the shit that we got to deal with. Hey, 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 hey. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Come on, man. And God spoke. And when God spoke, he teaches. He tells you, don't do that. Do this. Every time God speaks, he's giving instructions. He's a teacher. Every time God spoke, he's giving instructions. He's telling Noah how to build an ark. He's teaching. He's always giving instruction every time he speaks. You feel me? Every time. You can look at it in the Bible. Like, he always, I'm not even talking through Jesus himself. I'm talking when God spoke. He always giving instructions. Don't do this. Do that. Don't do it like this. Do that. Build it this. He's very specific and very accurate in the way he articulate himself. He's very precise. You feel me? Hold on. So I try to I try to model through. You know what I mean? I try to model through. Even when Christ, when Christ spoke, Christ, when Christ came, he recruited a few people and he was going around teaching. So we know we have a God in his creation. He's always teaching. Even life itself is a lesson. He's trying to he's trying to mold you. If you if we are made out of clay, so literally he's trying to direct you and mold you in the right directions. 
He knows you are flawed. He knows we are all born sinners. But he's trying to mold us into the right direction so we can move right. You feel me? So he's constantly teaching us. That's love right there. If somebody takes the time out to teach you to do right, that's love, my nigga. Because I know through my shit, nobody ever took the time out to tell me nothing good. Everybody else stood back. Then they slowly try to speak to you in codes. Because they didn't want to be too, like, nah, Christ didn't do that. God ain't, God spoke clearly. Like, yo, I, I stand against that fuck shit these niggas is doing. This is what, this is what I want you to do. This is what you need to do. This is, you need to stay committed. You need to stay on your path. You feel me? God was always giving instructions and always teaching. And always had a lesson. And when you listen and you follow through the lesson, guess what he give you? He gives you credit. You pass your class. You get to move on to the next stage. Your blessings come as a credit. You feel me? It is what it is anyway, man. Everybody always wants you to move. They're like, he's moving. Shit crazy. That's that's this narcissistical. You feel me? Like I said, they want to strip me of everything else so they can get me in a position where they can come in as Superman and act like I'm supposed to bow to them. You feel me? It's narcissistical behavior. Narcissist. That's why they want you to go back home and shit. Go sit on your mama couch. So you can be dependent upon her. So they can have a story to say. Who's to say she not even happy to even uh, see that happen? She probably want the same thing too. So you can be dependent upon her. I told you you couldn't do it without me type shit like that. You feel me? But you got to try, my niggas. You feel me? Y'all got to try. I got to try. Anyway, what was the topic about? I went all over the place because it's like it, it leads to so much. You feel me? And I don't want to be that man over there. I, I don't want to be that age and acting like a child. Where is he? Yeah, that's him right there, actually. You feel me? I don't want to be that age acting like a child. I got gray hair and everything else, and I'm hating on the next nigga. That's lame, that's lame as fuck, man. You feel me? I don't want to be that. Nah. I want to teach. You see, God has been through everything else that we've been through. He knew you before you was born. Chill. He he knew you and he knew before you was in your mother's womb, he knew you. So if the man is guiding you, he can only be guiding you in the right directions. So when I get to an age, a same age, and I'm looking down on the people that's coming up, I want to guide them in the right direction too. Like, yo, young nigga, don't do that. You feel me? If you 18 years old, like, yo, truth be told, my nigga, go to school, man. Yeah, you can do both. You got enough strength to do both. Go to school and work. You feel me? Make sure you go get your shit and work. Be wise in the way you, you in the way you, in the what kind of degrees you want to do. Do your research. And this is how I talk to people in private like that. Like, the niggas ain't even front. I speak to my young niggas like that. Like, yo, and if you if you don't want to go to school, be like, all right, try to get as much money as possible and invest and save your money, bro. You feel me? Save it for a rainy day. Because that's how you're supposed to do. When you get to a certain age, you're supposed to teach people what not to do. You're supposed to give them direction. That's that's a God-like image. You feel me? They say he created us in our own image. We'll act like one. Give the right lessons to the people. If you're, Especially if, you, if I knew you before you was in your mom's womb. And I see myself in you. And you at an age where, when I, when I was at that age, most of the things that I'm about to tell you I didn't know, yeah, nigga, I'm blessing you right there, nigga. I'm like, yo, this is what you, if you listen, you be a wise man. A wise man is a person that, that, that listens to other people's, well, that sees or listens to other people's mistakes and do not repeat those mistakes. Or see things that you don't have to go through the experience to gain this knowledge. He listens. You feel me? That's one of my greatest attributes. When somebody's teaching me something, I'm listening. I'm absorbing. Like, we, we, you feel me? Of course, I'm going to do my own research sometimes. But most of the time, oh, shit, my leg went to sleep. Motherfucker. But most of the time, I'm listening. I'm listening, OD listening. I'm like, yo, let me listen to this shit. You feel me? This is going to save me a lot of time. This is going to, this, this, this. This is gonna save me a whole lot of headache. If I, if I just listen to this point right now, I could get to gain a lot of knowledge. You feel me? Woo! Boy. 
I sat down for too long. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, 